apologies for the slight delay in uploading a video. Obviously, um, things have been a bit difficult recently, and I was thinking of somewhere I could go um, to give something interesting and a bit different. And um, we're actually here down again on the River Bovey, just outside Bovey Tracy. And as you can see behind me, we've got a nice um, kind of a, what you'd call a regular flow in the river. Nothing um, particularly exciting happening today, but in the winter months, this river, um, its velocity will be very high, so it'll be flowing extremely fast. And um, on an annual basis, this river will burst its banks and flood the area of land, as you can see around me. And as you pan around, you can see the land is really flat. And that's because we're in the middle to lower course of the River Bovey here. And this area of land is actually called a floodplain, okay? Now, that is a middle to lower course feature, and floodplains are really good farming because they're full of fertile land. And they're called a floodplain because it is simply a plain of land, an area of land that will flood. And no matter what you do um, to try to prevent that or to stop that, um, at some point in time, the river will burst its banks, no matter what defense you've got in there, and flood that area of land. So quite often you'll see in the middle to lower course of the river, the floodplains being used for farming because they've got um, really good fertile soil quite often um, linked to the river and nutrients deposited when the river floods going into the soil of that land. But as humans have developed, as towns and cities have developed quite close to these rivers, um, in Bobby Tracy, um, it's not a city, it's a town, okay, just. And as you see behind me here, we've got some housing. Okay, if you pan around to the other side of the river, you can also see behind the park and behind the play park, we've got some housing as well. Now, um, that is actually not luck, it is a deliberate um, kind of way of managing flooding. Okay, now there are two approaches to managing flooding. We've got hard engineering options and soft engineering options. The hard engineering options are using and building physical barriers so building embankments. The other option is a soft engineering approach, which is working with nature, okay? And that's what they've gone for here in Bobby Tracy. And um, by working with nature, what they're doing is they're saying, we know the river's gonna burst its banks. It does it say so on a quite often yearly basis because the high rainfall in the winter months. So what they've done is they've worked with the local planners and they've decided how to use and manage the land effectively and how to reduce the impact on humans. So, again, if you have a little pan around, you can see the area of land closest to the river is being used for um, recreational uses. So uh, we've got a park here, we've got a play park, and that is the area closest to the river. This is the area that's most likely um, to be affected by flooding, or is the area that's gonna be worst affected by flooding. So this is kind of classed as low value land, um, because it's not a huge cost to the government, to the local government, to the economy, um, to recover this land after the flooding. If you had housing built right next to the river here, it would be a huge cost to the economy and to the local government to recover that um, from flooding. So what they've done is further set back from this low value land here in Bobby Tracy, we've got our high value land, our housing. That is high value land that they think um, is less likely to be flooded because it's further away from the river, it's slightly elevated compared to the um, flatter floodplain here. And then what you'll get, um, which you can't see um, from this point here, is set further back from that and further away from the river channel is even high value land. So that's where you'll get your schools, your hospitals, your key infrastructure. So, a um, bit on flood management strategies today. Remember, two approaches to managing flooding, hard engineering, building a physical barrier or physical defense, and also our soft engineering, which is working with nature. And that's the example I've shown you here today, um, soft engineering, flood zone management, okay? Or flood zoning, where they're planning how to use the land so that when it floods, the impact on humans and the impact on the economy, so our social and our economic impacts are less. So, thanks for joining. Uh, more to see you, Mr. Bass. Hope to see you next time.